look at this so this question was posted by sandhya it says harris has two weights of one kilogram at his shop one of the weights is accurate while the other actually weighs 1100 grams while measuring the goods he uses one of the two weights the probability that he uses a wrong weight is 3 by 5 if he sells the goods at the cost price how much profit or loss will he make options given are 5.66 percent profit 5.66 percent loss 11.32 percent profit 11.32 percent loss or option 5 cannot be determined so i think a very interesting one posted by sandhya let's reread the question and understand what are the important points to be noted here right so harris has two weights of one kilogram at his shop one of the weights is accurate while the other one actually weighs 1100 grams so basically he has got two ways one is accurate which is 1000 grams one kg is 1000 grams the other one is 1100 grams right that one is 1100 grams now while measuring the goods he uses one of the two ways he randomly picks up one of them and measures the goods the probability that the probability that he uses a wrong weight is 3 by 5 what is the wrong one see this is the correct one this is the correct weight he's supposed to have weights of one kilogram right so this is the correct one and the 1100 grams one is the wrong one so the probability that he uses the wrong weight is 3 by 5 there is 3 fifth of chance 60 percent chance that he will use the wrong weight and there is the rest of his, the chance that he'll use the right weight so if probability of wrong weight is 3 by 5 the probability of correct weight will be 2 by 5 yes or no if 60 percent of the times you use the wrong weight 40 percent of the times you'll use the right weight because those are the only two options we have so this is the probability that he uses the wrong weight three fifths of the times right three three times out of five times now if he sells the goods at the cost price he's selling the goods at the cost price which means selling price is equal to the cost price how much profit or loss will he make how much profit or loss will he make now before we proceed with the solution the one point which all of you need to understand is the answer will always be a loss this will always result in a loss why are we saying so point number one he is selling the goods at the cost price so there is no profit involved in terms of a higher selling price or things like that right selling price is equal to the cost price you know that when selling price is equal to the cost price you will make no profit no loss if selling price is equal to cost price he's selling the goods at the cost price so there is no profit no loss however if there is no profit no loss then why do we say that the answer will result in loss because he's gonna lose in terms of the amount that he gives i mean the quantity that he gives as against the required quantity right he's supposed to give thousand grams only if a customer comes he's supposed to give thousand grams one kg but he may give one kg which is thousand grams or he may give 1100 grams and very clearly there is a higher probability that he gives 1100 grams see the probability of giving 1100 grams is more than the probability of giving 1000 grams so he may end up spending more uh, amount he may end up giving more quantity than the required quantity in most of the times in, in most of the cases yes or no there is a 60 percent chance that he's using a wrong weight right so while he may not make any profit or any loss in terms of uh, the selling price and cost price transaction but in terms of quantity he will end up losing some more quantity than what is supposed to be sold and that is why it will result in a loss for him so profit cannot be the answer 11.32 percent profit or 5.66 percent profit cannot be the answer the answer should either be 5.66 percent loss or it should be 11.32 percent loss and yes answer can be determined so option 5 also gets eliminated now if you are lucky and if only one option has got loss involved in it then you can directly mark that as an answer you don't have to put pen on paper to do any calculation without doing any calculation you can say 5.66 percent loss or 11.32 percent loss is the answer if only one option has got loss in it but since there are two options involved here we have to uh, deal with the whole calculation okay so important points when there is the selling price is equal to the cost price there is no profit no loss but this guy may end up losing more quantity because the probability is 60 percent that he'll use the wrong weight suppose instead of 1100 grams if the wrong weight is 900 grams then it will always be a profit instead of 1100 grams if the wrong weight is 900 grams then it will always result in profit why there's a higher chance that he'll use the wrong weight 60 percent chance that he'll use the wrong weight and in wrong weight he's saving some quantity the customer is asking for 1000 grams but he's giving only 900 grams so he will make some profit that way right so you have to be careful i mean based on what kind of wrong weight is involved you have to decide whether it will be a loss or a profit similarly if the profits are inter if the probabilities are interchanged let's say if these two are swapped then what happens then it will be the reverse case 60 percent chance that he will use the wrong weight 40 percent chance that he'll use the correct weight 
If these are reversed, what happens? There is a lesser chance that he'll use the wrong weight, 1100 grams, and more chance that he'll use the correct weight. Yeah. So, so based on that, all those conditions, you have to decide whether it is going to be a profit or it is going to be a loss. Anyway, in this particular case, it's very simple. How do we decide? Let us assume that the selling price and the cost price both are equal to thousand rupees per kg. Thousand rupees per kg, right? Thousand rupees per kg. And let us consider a transaction where the customer wants one kg. Let us consider a transaction where the customer wants one kg of this item. So, how much will the customer pay? The customer will pay thousand rupees. The customer will pay thousand rupees. Why? Because he has bought one kg. Now, what will be the cost involved? What is the cost price? Well, you may say that the cost price is also thousand rupees a kg, which is correct. But then the cost that this particular person incurs, Harris incurs, will depend on the kind of weight that he has chosen. Now, what is the probability that he has chosen the right weight? Two fifth is the probability. So, in that case, he will be giving thousand grams, which means he has spent thousand rupees. You are able to follow. The selling price is anyway fixed, 1000 rupees. Customer will pay 1000 rupees. Why? Because customer has bought 1 kg. But what he has spent depends on the kinds of weights that he has chosen. So, two fifths of the times he will choose the correct weight. So, if he is using the correct weight, he will spend 1000 rupees. His cost will be 1000 rupees only because he is giving, he is give, he is giving 1000 grams. Or he may choose the wrong weight rest of the times, three fifths of the times. And if he has used, used, if he have, if he's used the wrong weight, he will spend how much? 1100 grams. He will give 1000, 1100 grams to the customer. He will give 1100 grams to the customer. And for 1100 grams, his cost will be 1100 rupees. See, 1000 rupees per kg means what? 1000 rupees per gram. I mean, 1000 rupees per 1000 grams. Yes or no? Which means 1 rupee per gram. Right? The cost is 1 rupee per gram. So if he's giving 1000 grams, his cost will be 1000. If he's giving 1100 grams, his cost will be 1100. So the total cost price will be what? Overall cost price will be what? Average. If you average it out, what will be the cost price? This is 200 times. This is 220 times. 200 times and 220 times, right? 1100 by 5 is 220. So do the calculation now. So 200 to 400 and 220 into 3, 660. 400 plus 660 is 1060, right? So while his income or the selling price is 1000, the cost price is 1060. You see, cost price is more than the selling price, which means it is a loss. Now, how do you decide? He is asking us to find the profit or loss percentage. So, loss percentage will be what? Cost price minus selling price by selling price into 100. So, 1060 minus 1060 upon cost price into 1. Now, clearly this can't be. See, what is 10% for this? We know that always the denominator should be taken as 100%. So, 100% is 1060. If 100% is 1060, 10% will be 106. 10% is 106. 10% is 106. So, which means if it is 106 in the numerator, answer will be 10%. But numerator is less than 106, which means answer is less than 10%. I am not doing the exact calculation. All I am finding out is that this will result in less than 10%. Because denominator is 1060. When the denominator is 1060, which means 100% is equal to 1060. If 100% is 1060, 10% will be 106. 10% will be equal to 106. Which means if the numerator is equal to 106, then it will be equal to 10%. But the numerator is less than 106, which means answer is less than 10%. Clearly, option 4 is also eliminated because option 4 is 11.32, more than 10%, right? Option 4 is eliminated. And hence, option 2, 5.66% will be the final answer. All right? So, so don't go by the length of the explanation or the number of steps that you have put on paper. I think when you solve it yourself in the exam, the only step that you put on paper is this. Selling price is fixed, 1000 rupees. Cost prices depending on the weights that he has chosen. So do this calculation. Once you have got these two values, you have to calculate the profit percentage using this formula. So I think these are the only steps involved. Don't write selling price is equal to cost price is equal to thousand rupees per kg, which is thousand rupees per thousand grams or one rupee per gram and all that. Waste of time. Don't even write these steps on paper, right? All this is to be done mentally. Okay. So answer is option two, 5.66% loss. I hope all of you have followed this solution. A very interesting one on profit and loss. This was posted by Sandhya. And the right answer is 5.66% loss.